Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Parks Elvis Festival Special. I'm your host, Stewie V. We've got an amazing show for you today, an awesome guest coming on. Thank you so much for joining us. But before I do introduce him, let me play a little bit of this snippet. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome 2019 Ultimate Elvis Tribute Artist winner and good friend of mine, Mr. Taylor Rodriguez. Taylor, welcome to the show. How's it going, man? Good to see you. <laughs> I'm very well, very well. Very, very good to see you. How have you been? It's been a while. Yeah, it, it has. It's, uh, yeah, been doing all right. Just trying to <laughs> uh, survive and uh, just, you know, trying to stay healthy and and uh and safe at the moment so uh but been doing yeah, okay definitely. how about you you've been yeah. doing all right i've been doing well been doing well slowly getting back into it so it's great to be back on screen now and uh and uh slowly uh get back and you're the first uh first um guest that i've got on the show which is fantastic so and for this yeah. special so we we everyone's been waiting for this Everyone's gonna be waiting for this so sorry, they're gonna enjoy it but let's get straight into the questions the hard hitting questions all right <laughs> now a graduate oh, oh there you go get comfortable get comfortable <laughs> <laughs> so you're a graduate of forest high school you're mm -hmm. residing in lynchburg virginia now what was your influence with elvis like what what when did influence elvis come into your life yeah. So when I was about the age of six years old, uh, my aunt used to babysit me and uh, while my parents were were working. And uh, I actually the fairy. Ah, oh, you, you, <laughs> you snake. <laughs> oh. I had to do it. Mate. I had to do uh, it. <laughs> well, um, those pictures there. Yeah, that's. Uh, oh, Lord. Uh, that's uh, that's me at about the age of nine or ten. Caught um, you off guard there, didn't I? Yeah, a little bit, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Um, oh, I'm like sweating now. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, so I um, in that picture there, I was uh, about ten years old, but I, I started when I was about six, really getting into the music of Elvis. Um, you know, there was something about Elvis that. Uh, really kind of just spoke to me. It was, just, he was so unique. He was, he was different than any other artist that um, I had listened to. And he just kind of caught my attention right away. So when I was about 10 years old, uh, I had a costume made and uh, you don't have a picture of that. I bet. No, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't Damn. think that's anywhere. <laughs> I don't think that's anywhere to be found. So, uh, but my mom has a picture, so I'll probably send it over to you so you can, okay, you can see it, beautiful. but don't use it anyway. No, I won't, no. uh, <laughs> so, um, but I had a little costume made and I started performing and um, I, I started getting booked for like weddings and, and little birthday parties and stuff. And it kind of grew into this thing where um, that photo was actually, um, do you have, do you have McDonald's in Australia? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you do yeah, have. Okay. Yeah, so that was actually at a grand opening or reopening of, of, of McDonald's and they presented me with a gold record. It was an actual gold record of Elvis's. Wow. Uh, and then it had wow. my name at the bottom say it, you know, presented to uh, Taylor from McDonald's and everything else. It was really cool. Um, so do you still have that? I do. I do. It's still, oh, yeah, um, good. I think it's in my room. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, uh, I, but, but that's how I started and, and, uh, and here I am today. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. So what was your first professional performance on stage? So, um, my first professional performance was, uh, probably around the age of about 17 or so. Um, 
you know, I started getting a lot more, uh, you know, shows and stuff for corporations and for, uh, big festivals and whatnot. And, um, so that's, that's kind of about the age that I started, you know, getting uh, the, the more larger, you know, shows. And, um, I, I've been performing everywhere since I've been in, you know, to Las Vegas, California, that picture that you had actually just shown was, um, taken in Hollywood, uh, California, yeah, uh, at yeah. one of the, uh, quick productions, uh, Elvis festivals that they were holding. Um, that's right. Kevin, so, yeah, Kevin Wick. Yeah, that's right. Kevin yes. Wick, Kevin Wick. Yeah. So, yeah. um, uh, yeah, so I, I just kind of started when I was about 17 years old and, um, yeah. <laughs> young, young, very young. And so they, I know yeah. you do all the eras of Elvis. So what is your favorite era and like what songs do you love performing and so forth? Yeah. So my favorite era, uh, my absolute favorite era of Elvis is the 1969, uh, 1970s, you know, Las Vegas, uh, Elvis. Um, there it is that the picture. Yep. Uh, you've done your research, Stewie. You've done yeah, your have research. You. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so, uh, that actually is one of the very first suits that I ever bought. Uh, it was a B and K suit, uh, and it yes. still fits to this day. So, wow. It's, uh, well, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it still fits that's, to this day. All the um, sweating on stage makes you lose weight, mate. That's what it is. <laughs> it's, it's water, water weight, water weight. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's that was one of my first, and um, uh, but I, I, I do, you know, uh, I do pay tribute to uh, the fifties Elvis and and the sixties and seventies. So, uh, but my absolute favorite, it has to be, you know, um, Elvis from "That's the Way It Is." It, it's just. That's yeah, my all time yeah. favorite. Yeah. Yeah. So, what like, uh, do you have a favorite song you like performing? Like, like, do you have that one song that you just, no matter what, all the shows you do, you always add it into your repertoire? Yeah. Um, you know, Elvis won uh, two Grammys for the <coughs> song. Um, How Great Thou Art is, is my favorite. Yes. Um, Beautiful. And it's something, it's something about that song that it, it just it speaks to me uh, personally. And, you know, the first time I heard Elvis sing, uh, how great thou art, it was, it was his concert version. And I, I literally was watching it. And as, as he was getting into the song, I, I had goosebumps and chills from listening to him, you know, hit these notes. And I mean, he was just, he was, he was speaking through his gospel music Yes. And that's what I love about Elvis is that he he spoke. If he didn't feel what he was singing, you you didn't feel it. You know, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't feel it. But almost in every single song that I've ever heard Elvis sing, it it, it still gives me chills to this day because you you hear uh, how much heart and soul he puts into those songs. Um, yeah, and yes. and how great thou art is is definitely one of them that that oh. it just uh, yeah yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. It's just there's no words, and you yeah. do obviously do the reprise as well version. So, uh, yes. longer seventies yes. version. Yeah, just it just gives you good that second round time around. Just an oh, yeah. amazing, just the powerhouse vocals, powerhouse vocals. Yes, unbelievable. Yes. And I've I've seen you do it, and I've heard you do it, and amazing job as well. You just, thank you, thank you, you. You pay you pay tribute in just an amazing way. Now with your career, your career took off. Um, obviously you've had an amazing career over the last few years, but then you got to um booked to go into the million dollar quartet show is that right yes yeah so i i had a love of theater and um ever since i was i was a, a, a high school student and um into college as well i actually uh, majored in college in theater uh that was right, one of my okay. majors um yeah and so i actually played a couple roles before this and uh, one of my professional roles was uh from shrek the musical I played. <laughs> yep, yep. I was going to ask who you were. Were you Donkey? <laughs> no, I was Pinocchio. Thank you very okay. much. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I. So I played. I played Pinocchio, and uh, it was it was one of the most fun roles that I've ever played. But um, when I had the opportunity to audition for for Elvis in Million Dollar Quartet, I couldn't turn it down. Um, yeah. So, and, and I was very fortunate enough to got to, to get the role. And, um, 
I really try to do as much research. I mean, and you, I know you can attest to this as well uh, of how much research we, we put into our tribute. Um, yeah, endless, endless nights of watching videos and and reading books and trying to figure out, you know, uh, what was going on in Elvis's life uh, during that specific time and putting that on stage in million dollar quartet was, um, was, it was actually really challenging, believe it or not, because it wasn't, it wasn't, um, it wasn't a tribute. You were, you were playing the king of rock and roll. Like you yes, were that yeah. person. Um, yes. and everything that he was going through during, uh, you know, that time. And, and, uh, uh, it, it was, it was just, it was a really cool role. I, I really yeah. loved playing Elvis. Um, and I was very honored to do that. Well, twice I've read the Million Dollar Quartet book, and that's the best book to read yes. to get into the heads of Elvis, into the insight of being in that yeah. room. That is the best way to do it because it's just very hard with the early years because there isn't much video footage out there. There's a lot in the 70s and 60s yes. onwards, but there's no video footage in the early years. So you just really yeah. have to, you know, really research and it. I, and yeah, I agree. It's, it's a lot of work. Yeah, I think that that's why. Uh, the seventies Elvis is my favorite is because there's so much footage of Elvis. I mean, there's, there's backstage footage. There's, yeah. um, there's videos releasing like almost every single day of something yeah. new of Elvis. Yeah. And yeah. the, the fifties is so, I think that's one of the most difficult um, eras to pay tribute to is because there's not a lot to, to go off of. There's, there's not, um, there's not any video. I mean, you, you have the music, but, you almost have to put yourself in Elvis's shoes and go, okay, if I was Elvis, how would I, how would I do this move to, to this certain part of this song? You know, it's, it's almost like you have to, you have to come up with different things. Um, and so it's, it's really difficult, but, um, you know, I, I tried my best to, to, uh, pay the best tribute I can to Elvis. Well, your tribute is amazing. I must say that. I must say that. Thank it's you. A, a, Thank amazing you. on stage. Great on stage. Now, Thank then you competed in the Tupelo Elvis Festival, um, the birthplace of Elvis in 2019. Yes. The birthplace. How did that? F- and you took out the title. Now, what a feeling. In the birthplace of all places. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was uh, a surreal feeling. Uh, you know, you, you go into Tupelo and, and you – you're humbled by, you know, basically touring what was Elvis's little, you know, house and, and, uh, the, the yeah. certain mementos and stuff that are, that are there in the museum. And, um, and, and even going to Tupelo hardware and, you know, looking at where Elvis bought his first guitar, um, yeah. or his mother buying his first guitar. And, um, you just, you, you look at the humble beginnings of Elvis and you go, man, this was a guy that literally went from rags to riches, no pun intended yeah. there. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, he, he really went from rags to riches and, um, I, I, I don't think he ever forgot that, you know, it was his, it was his humble beginnings that, um, that brought him to where he was. And in yeah, Tupelo, agree. you can, you, in Tupelo, you can certainly feel, um, almost like a humble presence around you. And, uh, it was just absolutely uh, – there was no words really to describe how I felt in Tupelo. Uh, you know, I mean, I was uh, happy. I was just overjoyed, really, honestly. Yeah. And you just – it's very hard to put that into words as well, So even yes. now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, really, it's, yeah. It's just an honor and achievement. That's just – just two words it just, yeah it's just it honor, is it, honor it's, an, it's an absolute yeah. it's an absolute honor um it, i mean just to be able to represent you know the birthplace and um yeah. was a was an honor in itself um yeah definitely and and especially <clears throat> you know i was i was judged in front of uh, some of elvis's close peers um yeah yeah uh, i think uh, dick dick grove was there yes um, that's right yeah uh charles stone and La- uh, Lowell Hayes, La- Lowell Hayes, I can't say it. Lowell Hayes, yep. Lowell, Lowell Hayes. Hayes, yep, yep. Excuse yep. me. Um, <clears throat> and um, I mean, you know, these these were his peers, and uh, I met them after and and shook each one of their hands, and I was just like, "Holy crap!" Like I'm meeting these people, you know. I, and yeah, uh, yeah. I, I was just, I was completely honored and and humbled to to be in their presence and to be able to, um, you know, just shake their hand. 
I mean, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. But it's just the one person you would love meeting also, Charles Stone. In 90, he was, Charles, yeah. legend, for those of you that don't know, Charles Stone was a 1970s tour producer for Elvis Presley. Um, I've met Charles. Um, I've interviewed Charles. He sent me his book as well, um, personally written to me. Um, and just an amazing guy. He's got the, the amount yes. of history he's got and the amount of stories he's got to tell. He doesn't tell them all, of course, but it's, <laughs> right, right, right. But it's, yeah. <laughs> but it's just, yeah, amazing guy, amazing guy. And, to, and they're, and they're great him, people. They really are. I mean, they're, they're just, they're, they're great people. Um, I, I've had the honor to meet so many great, uh, mm. you know, fans and, and so many great uh, peers of Elvis. And I, I've just, I've, you know, we, we look at Elvis and we go, man, that, that is the, you know, we put him on a, on a pedestal, but if you, if you really just think about it, I mean, he was just a regular guy. He was just a regular yeah, guy like right. you and I, and yeah. just to be able to, I think his, his close family and friends really do a great job by displaying how humble that he was. I mean, he was just a guy. I mean, this guy was their friend, you know? Yeah, uh, uh, George Klein, you know, I mean, yes. just so, so many different people and uh, they do an excellent job really, uh, you know, paying tribute to, to, to Elvis's memory by telling, you know, different stories and stuff. Like yeah. you said, not all, them. Them. not all yeah, of not them, not all of them, not all of them, but, but, <laughs> but, but giving us, you'd like to know all of them, but <laughs> you would. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Now, with that win at Tupelo, that honour at Tupelo that you won, you took out the title, you won at the birthplace of uh, of Elvis, then you went on to Graceland um, and you represented Tupelo at the Graceland Ultimate Elvis Tribute Artist Contest. And yes. and you won that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's a video of the actual win. So I hope you enjoy this. And your 2019 Ultimate Elvis Tribute Artist Champion. Please step forward. Taylor Rodriguez. That was actually really, that makes me laugh. Every time I watch it, it makes me laugh because you look at Diogo, you look at Cody and you look at Jake and you go, and Radney's behind you, and you're going. Did I just? Did this just happen, guys? Did this just happen. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, and, if you, if, and you can't. Luckily and you can't, can't see, see the face. reaction. Yeah. Yeah, but no. no. But I've got. <laughs> I've got a photo of your reaction. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> no. You can see the look on your face. It just it's priceless. It is priceless. <laughs> you're like, oh my god, what, what? <laughs> Well, I, yeah. Um, so the picture to your far left there, um, that, you know, we're going to be coming out with a new t-shirt. Uh, no, I'm just joking. Uh, but, you know, and, <laughs> could, could you Don't imagine that on a t-shirt? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I reckon do it. I, I personally think do it. Oh, Those I'll three photos there. Perfect. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'll have the... <laughs> Um, though, well, those three photos there, I mean, they, they perfectly capture, uh, I think what I was feeling during that time. Um, it was, I, I think it was confusion, uh, shock, um, just, uh, I was honored, but I didn't believe it. I honestly yeah. didn't believe it. I was, I was, um, again, beyond words, uh, even this to this, this to this very day, I, I'm still uh, I, I still there's no words. There's just no words um, of how honored and, and grateful I am for that uh, achievement. You know, oh, you were the youngest um, ever to win the comp, like 23 yeah. years old now. And you're the youngest yeah. ever to win the comp. It's just you were 20, yeah. 21 at the time. Just unbelievable. Yeah. Happy 21st birthday. There you go. Yeah. There's the key. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know. Oh, by and, the way, happy twenty, happy twenty first birthday. Here's twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, uh, I, yeah, I, I, I was just, uh, I was over uh, ecstatic with, with you know, the outcome of everything. I, I honestly, to this day, I still don't, I still don't believe it. Um, uh, you know, I just, 
it's such an honor. It really is. And, and of how grateful I am for the, for the fans that have supported me from the very beginning. Um, and, and the new fans that I, that I make through, you know, different festivals and stuff. I, I I'm just so honored, uh, to be a part of this amazing world. You know, uh, yeah. it, our world may be small, but it's, it's, it's just everyone, whenever you go to a festival and I think you can attest to this too, it's like a family reunion. Like you get to yes. see everybody again yes. and you're like, man, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. You know, um, how's the kids? How's this person? You know? Yes. And, uh, it, it's just, it's a great big family. And I, I love every single person, uh, to death that, that has just supported me from the very beginning. Um, and funny thing is right after that, uh, Dean Z had pulled me aside because he was obviously hosting the the event and he pulled me aside and he, he said, do you have quick uh, time for a quick interview? And I said, yeah, sure. And uh, and he was interviewing me and he said, uh, "What what's your first thought? And I was like, well, I hope I don't throw up. And I was like, <laughs> why? Why in the world? When I look at the camera and go, well, I hope I don't throw up. Like, why would you say that? <laughs> I and, saw that and, as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, Graceland, I think, had played it when I was uh, doing the Ultimate Return. And yeah. they played that video. And I'm backstage going, oh, please don't. Please don't. <laughs> and uh, they showed the video. And to this, I, it just it, that explains, I think, the pictures and that video explain how much I was in shock. I didn't know what I was saying. I didn't know. I was stumbling over my words. Um, <laughs> not to mention, I just got a $20,000 check that was holding yeah, in my hand. Right, yeah. uh, excellent payday. Excellent payday. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> and, until you have to pay taxes and everything else. And it's just like, oh, oh yeah. why? Just take the yeah, money no, back. Yeah. Take the money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, I uh, I had uh, actually with with the the twenty thousand, I I put some in savings and I I paid off some of my my student loans and stuff like that. I, I was responsible with my money. Yes, and, yeah, um, very well done. Well done. You I, must I have actually, bought yourself a new suit or guitar. Or... Yes, well, I I bought myself a guitar. Um, it was a it's a Martin actually, and I don't nice. have it. It's it's actually supposed to be right here, but I was actually right, okay. playing with it and everything else, and um, so it's somewhere. But uh, I bought some some new clothes and stuff like that too. So uh, you know, it, it was good things. And um, yeah, good. Uh, yeah, it was just it was an amazing time. We partied all yeah. night that night. I was just it, it and was longest just in... reigning champion now. Right? Longest <laughs> reigning. <laughs> yeah. yeah so, Sorry, I had so to that, say. I had to so say that <laughs> that is the running joke now. Um, every time I'm introduced <laughs> at a festival, they go, "Please welcome." your longest reigning ultimate Elvis <laughs> champion. I'm like, guys, <laughs> like, you know, uh, they're, they're just, two yeah, years next yeah. year. That's if That's if yeah. they do a festival where they do the uh, competition because, yeah, because there's no festivals leading up. We don't know what's going on. So you still there's might no be longest reigning three years yeah. in a row. Yeah. yeah three yeah. years um, in a row. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a good, a good friend of mine, uh, uh, Mr. Jeff Lewis, he, he told me, he said, uh, I think he was announcing me at a festival and he said, uh, he said, you're, you're two year running could be three. So get yeah. ready. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it could be, it could be. <laughs> oh God. Now, so let's, yeah, let's move on to the Park Elvis festival now. Yes. Right yes. now you should be performing here for us. And believe me, yes. During, because of COVID-19, obviously the festival being postponed till 2022 when you will yeah. be coming back, which is fantastic. Then the fans of people, of course, other ETAs like myself, we were really looking forward to your shows. I was looking forward to all your shows. Now, yeah, what yeah. can the people expect in 2022 from the uh, ultimate obvious tribute of this world champion for 2019? What can they expect? Yeah, so, um, well, I don't want to give away too much information, but we do have this one special show in mind of um, – where we pay tribute to all heirs of Elvis and yeah. it's done in a very unique way. I don't think it's ever really been done before. Um, it's not your normal, you know, your normal show that you would go to and see at a festival. Um, it's, it's something brand new. I can't give away too much detail. I can't give away too much. Um, <laughs> but it, it's, if we can pull it off, it's going to be a great show. I'm really excited to bring it. Um, I have another another year to work on it, so I'm yeah, going to try to make good. it to the the best I can. 
Um, and then the other shows we're going to, we're going to pay tribute to, um, you know, some of the movie years and, and, uh, we're, we're going to do a whole bunch of different things and, uh, they're going to be high energetic shows that involve the audience. Um, I've heard so many great things about parks, uh, that the, the, the crowd is unlike any other crowd at any other festival. So I cannot wait. I cannot wait. It's unbelievable. When you do, um, on the, on the stage that you'll be in. I've said yep. it's amazing. The band, the stage, everything, just the, the crowd, it'll be just an amazing place. And the acoustics, everything yep. in that venue is beautiful as well. But the outside stage as well, you'll have yes. two and a half, three thousand people watching you. And it's just an amazing feeling. Amazing feeling. It's just unbelievable. As long as I don't see any spiders, I am okay. <laughs> um, if, well, you, you know what? You're in your game of if, parks and it's, it's the middle of a country. So just remember that it's in the bush, right? <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. It, if I run into any spiders, you will hear me scream like a little girl, <laughs> and you might have to take my place for the rest of the week because I, I just <laughs> I will not be able to to continue. Oh, I'm seen, on speed dial. Street's on speed dial. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I've seen pictures of these giant spiders that you guys have, and I'm like. Those aren't even spiders. That's like a a, a, a tarantula. I mean, the thing is oh, this yeah. big. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I'm going yeah. to that country and I'm yeah. afraid. <laughs> That's the one thing I'm afraid of. Well, there's oh, a spider gosh. called a bird eating spider. And it's no, it's, uh, no. I, I've, gone, I've gone across it. It was no. that big. And it was it was oh. that big, literally, it like the size of my head, that big. And um it was the body on it was huge, the head, everything, and I had to yeah, it was it, it was outside my house. Yeah. It's out. Oh. It's yeah. oh, gosh. But, but here's a photo of one. No, I won't do that to you. No, 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 no. I won't do that Don't to do you. That right. to me. <laughs> so do you oh, plan gosh. to travel when you when you come over in twenty two? Uh, yes. do you plan to travel around Australia, see a bit of Australia while you're here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I've heard uh, and seen a lot of great pictures of uh, the Great Barrier Reef, um, yeah. and I I know that climate change and everything is is really affecting it right now. But but I really want to go snorkeling, um, or you know, see some different sites. Uh, I I just whenever I go to a, a different country, I love just kind of being immersed in that country and being able to experience, uh, you know, the different culture and. Uh, you know, the different foods. That's one thing I'm really excited about is the food there. Um, so oh, yeah. I, I, love it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the sites, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm ready for it. I, I'm going to, if anybody has any suggestions, feel free to contact me. You can send me a message on Facebook or whatever uh, of any places to go near parks. I would love to just kind of hear what you guys, um, you know, would recommend because I, I oh, yeah, definitely, definitely I'm down for anything. Or- yeah. yeah, excellent, excellent. Look, Taylor, we're, we're going to close the interview now. I just want to – is there anything you want to leave for the fans? Any message you want to leave for the fans? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I can't wait to see every single one of you guys. It's going to be uh, a great honor to be there and a privilege uh, to perform for you all. Um, and everyone, please stay safe and healthy. Uh, we're going to get through this, and once we get through it, it's going to be – it's just going to be great. I mean, we're going to have a rock and roll – rock and time – and I just can't wait to see every single one of you guys. So until we meet again, may God bless you as he has blessed me. And thank you very much. Thank you so much, Taylor. Legend, if you want to see Taylor, make sure you make your way down to the Parks Elvis Festival between the 5th and 9th of January. This year's next year, or should I say 2022's theme, is Speedway theme. So make sure you dress up to the hilt. If you want more information, please go to the website, which is parkselvesfestival.com.au and you can check that out as well so make sure you do check that out um once again um i really want to thank you taylor for, for coming on the show um and having a personal chat with me as well um yes sir a massive thank you from the parks elvis festival a massive thank you from the fans other etas including myself um yes. and you know dedicated fans of course and we really are looking forward to your shows in 22 so please god yes, bless sir. stay safe and thank you so much for your time taylor Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Can't wait to see you No guys. problem at all. You're welcome. Take care. Bye-bye. See ya. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Parks Elvis Festival special. Thank you so much for joining us. Take care, and we'll see you guys in 2022. Thank you very much.